Hello mga kapuso! Welcome to another episode of Cool Hub. To continue last episode of Action Figures, ito naman, I, we have a special guest, my fellow GMA artist, nakasama ko na to sa Bobo Gang. Let's all welcome, Mikoy Morales. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Cool Hub. Hey Manolo, what's up? I heard. Yeah. Action <laughs> figures. I haven't seen the pictures, but let's start to the beginning. Um, why did you take a particular interest in collecting such action figures? My dad used to go to Japan a lot for work, and and um, nga, he would always come home with with lots of Star Wars toys. Um, yun, yun kasi yung era na yun eh, nung, nung time na yun eh. Nung nagkamalay na ako, tinuloy ko siya because apparently marami na pala ako. Since the late 70s, figurines depicting film stars have also been popular. Star Wars was one of the film franchises to first see its characters depicted as figurines. Hindi sa Marvel naman, I started collecting when I was in grade 3. Ayun, hanggang ngayon, I've been collecting. May maraming iba rin mga side, alam mo, yung mga short time collection na, na hindi ko naman na pinatagal masyado or just a couple of them lang. Pero ang naging consistent sa akin was Star Wars and Marvel ever since. Hanggang ngayon. After your dad, may, may iba pang nag-inspire sa'yo to collect more? Or is it because you really love Star Wars? Or... Isa sa mga malaki, malalaking influence sa akin ng childhood ko was my, my cousin, my eldest cousin. My brother also, my younger brother, kasi kami lahat ng, sa side ng mom ko, we would, we, sobrang geeks namin, sobrang geeks namin. Yeah, my, my cousin, my eldest cousin sa mother's side was my biggest influence. He was the one who uh, made me really interested and in-depth level interest with, with dun sa mga, sa Marvel and Star Wars in particular. And actually, even sa Lord of the Rings and DC, any mm-hmm. comics. And, and, pero yung binaghati na kami in terms of toy collection, sa akin yung Marvel, sa akin Star Wars. My brother collects Lord of the Rings and DC. What's your motivation sa pagpili mo ng action figures? Is it like uh, for the aesthetic value? Is it for the nostalgia? Or baka for the thrill of getting the limited edition items? Simula nung nagkatrabaho na ako. Um, naging ginagawa ko na siya to uh, wala, parang self-fulfillment siya na natutuloy ko siya. Na with my own money and, and, and I get to buy them and, and I get to buy things for myself. It's it's a sign of self. It's it's a way of self care for me. Ever since grade three you started, so I would like to know, ilan na ba yung current tally mo of action figures? Ah, you know? yun ang hindi ko alam. I have no okay, idea. Sobrang dami. Sobrang dami. <laughs> I have no idea. Top three action figures and why? Ito si King Shark. Um, DC okay. Universe. Sa DC Unlimited siya. Ay, de, Universe. Uh, this, this is one of the most valuable because this is the most expensive gift <laughs> I ever bought for my brother. <laughs> I got this for, oh, still for a good price. Um, may mga Toycon specials yung DC yeah. na you would only get kapag pumupunta ka sa Toycon. Na doon lang siya nila launch. Pero nangyari kasi these, these, some people buy them and they sell them online. So we get them for a good price. So this one, uh, this comes with a variant, may, may head variant to, na ito yung mas mahirap hanapin. Kasi may hammer, hammerhead version to. And this one costs around uh, 12k. So, <laughs> yes, the most expensive gift I've ever bought for my brother. But um, yeah, new sense of achievement na parang I'm also not doing this. I'm hindi na lang ako sa sarili ko nakabili. But I also get to buy this stuff for my brother. You, you're able to share the gift to your family. Yeah, yeah, share the, to my to my family. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yon. So the, yon. This is one. And um, ano pa ba? Ito si yung Galactus. Kasi yung, yung toy line na kinokolek ko sa sa Marvel is yung Marvel Legends na toy biz. Ito yung first ever build a figure series ng Marvel Legends toy biz yung Galactus na for every character you get sa series na yun, may isang part siya ni Galactus. Tapos so pag nabuo mo siya lahat, you oh. get to, ayun, mabubuo mo yung buong Galactus. And Para this was the pero, pa to buy more. <laughs> oh, to buy more, to, to, to complete <laughs> the series. Uh, but, but, ito na daya ko to kasi binili ko siya ng ganito, nang buo na ng loose. Okay. So I didn't have to complete the entire series kasi merong mga ilang characters doon na meron na ako 
na naulit lang pero different costume or, or just a variant of the character. So so I got the entire thing na kaagad and this is the first toy I got na part of the collection that exceeded the 1,000 peso mark. Kasi nung time na yun, parang nasa 300 lang per piece or nasa department store pa sila eh. Luma, lum, nagmahal lang siya throughout the years. And then nung time na yun, nasa ano lang to, 1.7? But now you can sell this for a lot, three thousand at least, or minimum or more. So, and oh, whoa, that is huge! <laughs> oh, um, millennium. millennium Falcon, diba? Oh, yes, this is the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> so, that's um, gotta be top one. <laughs> top one, definitely top one. Top one, yeah. Yeah, top one. This one has a backstory. Um, my mom promised me to buy this for me when sabi niya graduation gift niya sa akin nung grade 7. Pero nung time na nung graduate na ako, out of stock na siya. And then ever since wala na kami nakita. Kung may nakita kami, sobrang mahal na. Until a few, two years ago, sa isang toy ko, may nakita kami ganito with the same box, exact box na nakita namin, na gusto namin. Kasi nagkaroon na ng maraming versions nito eh. And then it was the exact box, second hand, na nakita namin for nung, nung, nung time na yun. And nung time na bibilin to dapat sa akin ni Mami, uh, it was at around 5,000 pesos. That was in 2006, 2007, mga ganun. Pero after that, lahat na nang makita namin, nasa at least 10,000 na siya. Nakikita ko to sa, sa, sa isang toy con na bukas na yung box, wala na siyang character sa loob, eh nabubuksan to eh. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Tasha didn't see go. Yeah, and then, and then, so Tash, I didn't see Chubaka at si Han Solo. Hindi ko na pinasok dito kasi this one's pretty old. <laughs> Pero yun nga, second hand siya, fourth gen. And then, um, I got it for only 4,000 pesos. So, it was a good buy, a really good buy. Ako rin. Top one na rin yan. Top one na rin. Top one. I love Star Wars. I really love Star Wars. According to Valentine Chan, sometime after Star Wars was when the collectors started to want memorabilia from the film and began the whole collect them all era. Nowadays, people collect figures because of nostalgia for their childhood. I'll show you the, my collection. This is my work area. This is where I work. Pero dyan ko rin nilalagay yung mga ibang figures ko na hindi part ng series na yung mga solo lang. So I have this Kylo Ren. That's again. Oh my god. Tsaka iba talaga yung distinct yung tunog ng lightsaber niya eh. Meron siyang... Oh shoot. Oh man, that's... Yeah, okay. we <laughs> so yun, it inspires me. It motivates me every time I work to see these things. Ito yung bago na, na Marvel Legends na toy line na Hasbro. Uh, and ito, this one is from the movie. Yung sa ano na to, yung war machine na to ng Avengers. Then, puro Darth Vader lahat yun. Darth Vader talaga. Anything aesthetic sa mga gamit ko Darth Vader. Ito yung side ng brother ko. Ito yung Lord of the Rings niya. Um, I also love Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Dude, the best. Wala lang, hindi lang kami umabot sa The Hobbit. Pero ito. Um, siguro sa, hindi ko lang nababa kanina. Pero isa rin to sa mga prized possession namin magkakapatid. And yan si Sauron. We have a Nazgul. The, the Nazgul is pretty cool. The Naz, it is. Mabigat nga siya eh. I had to tape the tail to the wall. Because it would just... Fall. And yung wings, hindi ko siya matataas ng basta-basta. Yeah, yeah. Ang problema lang dito, kasi uh, toy biz din to eh. Pero yung plastic niya kasi, so hindi pa naayos yung... Nung dumami kasi to, nalipat na namin dito na dating bookshelf to. So hindi pa naayos yan, hindi pa nalalagyan ng glass. So plastic muna kasi para hindi maalikabukan. But at the same time, we had to clean we, we have to clean them every once in a while or open the thing every once in a while because nag nagpapawis yung plastic niya, yung material niya. Ayun, ayun yung mga orcs. Ayan, oh, Sina, Saruman. So, ayan yung DC. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nakahiga sila lahat. So, ay, lahat ng nasa left ko na yan, yan yung DC ng brother ko. And, uh, may mga variants din yan. Pero yun nga, um, started getting loose na loose figures na just to complete the set kasi mahirap na makahanap ng mga nakabox tsaka nilalaro ko kasi <laughs> so I don't really keep them in mint condition kasi nilalabas ko rin sila sa boxes well you're supposed to use them diba so okay lang yeah oo oh, oh, eh ba't mo pa bibilin diba <laughs> ito yung Marvel yan yung lahat ilagay yung Marvel Legends na 
Hasbro series. The 1970s also saw 8-inch DC and Marvel superhero action figures surge in popularity in a line called The World's Greatest Superheroes. And then, ito, ito yung mga short time collections ko lang, na like this one, uh, yan, and yung Zoids. Tapos ito rin, one of the few, um, yung mga, yung mga short-lived lang din, yung cinematic line ng toy line ng Transformers. So, naghati rin kami ng brother, ng brother ko doon. Inubos siya lahat ng Decepticon sa akin, lahat ng Autobots. So, ayun yun. Pero yung first lang, the first, from the first movie lang. Tapos, ito na, last. Yung Star Wars. Alright. And, and, dito, kinip ko lahat ng episodes uh, 4 to 6 and 7 onwards. Kasi bago lang sina Kylo rin. Yeah. Pero, yan, kasi ang hirap i-classify. Tapos, ito yung mga hindi kasha sa loob. <laughs> Usually, okay. the ships and speeders. Oh, the ships! Tapos, ito yung um, episodes 1 to 3. And then, ito yung ibang ships. So, yan yung Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, oh, x 2 Wing, and Slave 1. That is cool! <laughs> the ships are cool, man. The ships are cool and they're pretty hard to find. For me, Star Wars talaga is my childhood movie. I love... I love the first three movies that I got. Yung Padres. Right? Do you have a Padres action figure? Ah, <laughs> wala, wala. But I have Watto. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Today, some of the most valuable collectible action figures include the original Kenner Star Wars figurines, as well as other Star Wars figures produced by other companies in the 1970s and 80s. Out of your whole collection, what's the most memorable for you? This is my first ever uh, figure of the collection. Oh. Series 1 lumabas si Thing. And nung nakikita ko si Thing, dito ako nag-decide na parang, okay, kasi tinan mo yung details. Yan yung details niya. Like, look how yeah. 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 beautifully crafted that is. So, you, you got um, this when? I was in grade 3. Wow. Ito yung first. Wow. So, nung nakuha ko to, just one, isa lang. Siguro, hindi alam ng parents ko kung nag nila sa akin that year. Tapos parang, ito, sige, nakita doon. So, bigyan natin. Tapos so, pagkita ko, ah, may series siya. So, parang buuhin ko kaya lahat. Kompletuhin ko lahat. So, doon nag-start. So, we see na ang dami mo ng collection. Are you still collecting up to now? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> yung pinaka-huling malalang umabot ako. Kasi it's really hard to find the the ones that I don't have yet. Especially the older series. Yeah. Um, so, ang ginagawa ko, I'm on Facebook and I... And I join groups and <laughs> alam mo yung mga buy and sell akong nakikita and umabot sa point na grabe ako gumasa sa toys na yun lang inaabala, pinagkakaabalahan ko na ang dami kong meet up ang dami kong umabot akong paranyake umabot ako sa munyos ganun because I <laughs> kinikita ko talaga yung mga tao just to get a hold of the the the, the figures that I'm missing so um, ayun pero minsan kasi once I start Tuloy-tuloy na naman siya na, oh, wala pa ako nito. Kunin ko na rin to. Oh, may, may, three, may three for one. <laughs> Bili ko na to. May halatang passion mo to. <laughs> <laughs> so now, yeah. what drives you to collect? It's just, uh, what's your drive, driving force now? Driving force now is number one to really just complete the series. Okay. Complete everything. Pag natapos ko na lahat to, maybe I'll just go with solos na parang with, with the statues. And, and also sa so Star Wars din na, uh, Kaya nga minsan pag may bagong movies na, na lumalabas, parang bagong laro na naman to, may bagong series na naman itong lalabas. Yung know, lumabas yung episode 7, 8, 9 ng Star Wars na parang dami na naman bagong kailangan kunin. <laughs> Hassle na naman, pero okay lang. But number two, kaya ko na lang din iniipon because I really, ever since pangarap ko nung, nung maliit pa ako, I, I want to have my own place. And when I when I get my own house, I want I want it to be, I want to fill it up with toys and then Ngayon pala inisip ko na yung mga theme ng mga rooms ko na, na kung anong pwedeng gawin sa, sa parts ng bahay na may toys. And, and wala na, yun, yun. Goal ko yun. Parang pag once magawa ko yun, feeling ko medyo na, na-reach ko na yung, yung point of um, ano ba, achievement na gusto kong ma-reach nung bata ako. Yun. Does age matter pagdating sa action figures? Kasi baka some of our viewers might think na Ah, action figures, l- laruan lang yan. Toys, pang bata lang yan. I, wa- I wanna yeah. ask your opinion on on age and action figures. Regardless of age, kanya-kanya naman tayong ways ng self-care. And I think walang value ng money or kahit anong age ang makakatapat dun once you get that sweet spot 
na na andung ko na it it would be nice to think na we for us to reach a point wherein we find satisfaction and love and also na banggit rin ni Kuya Bitoy sa huling sa isa sa mga vlogs niya na kaya tayo tumatanda kasi nakakalimutan natin maging bata nakakatulong siya sa ngayon especially now na na with everything that's been happening it helps to appreciate more the now like how far we've come or where life has taken us uh, diba kung nasa point na tayo ngayon that's beautiful <laughs> beautiful man. <laughs> wow thanks man thanks man <laughs> what's your most uh, recent uh, addition to your collection Kyla Ren po and Ray yun yung yun yung recent addition ko to my collection sa Marvel <laughs> naman um this one uh, ito sakto ito yung latest ko si Moon Knight kay I got this loose lang siya mag-isa lang siya pero it's it's a variant kasi meron siyang black version but I got the silver one the gray one so ayan with all your collection what's the biggest challenge in this hobby of yours biggest challenge is yung, yung financially talaga para sa akin kasi it it it's not practical honestly hindi naman siya necessity eh. mm-hmm. kapag pa-prioritize niya ko siya I have to give up some things na I have to um ano ba not eat out for <laughs> what <laughs> For a certain number. <laughs> oh, oh, kasi. <laughs> Wait, ganun. I have to ba- I have to balance my finances because the last time I went on a spree, um, in two weeks, naka 25k ako. <laughs> Just on point. <laughs> so, <laughs> para, um, last year? Last year. Last year lang yun. Na parang nag-start siya na parang wala pa ako nito, di ba? Tapos nagtuloy-tuloy na, na, na napunta na ako dun sa, nasuck na ako dun sa black hole ng Facebook marketplace na ang daming uan, meron siya nito, meron ako nun. I go to places, says, I, I check them out kung tama yung quality and pang na-realize ko after nun na umabot ako 25k just in two weeks. So ilang 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 araw yun na hindi ako hindi ako makain sa labas. Nagtitipid ako ng gas, hindi ako lumalabas ng QC. <laughs> kasi I had I had to take it at binabawas ko siya sa pang expense ko kasi kung hindi, pag kinuha ko sa savings ko yun, eh wala, may mga investments sa kung sinimulan ngayon. So <laughs> hindi pwede. So yun, yeah, nag-adjust yung way of living. Koy, Miko, you just shared the, the the one that most resonates you. Thanos, tapos you're not doing the balance. <laughs> <laughs> Wala akong snap. Hindi ko na snap yung priorities ko eh. <laughs> But yeah, kaya, kaya once a year lang ako nag, nag, nam, nag, namimili kapag kailangan ko. Hanggang the other the other times hindi ko na inahayaan sa hindi ko. Once a year, that's your rule. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or twice. Means and twice. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, mga, mga ganun. I, I let go once or twice a year. Na, na game lahat kunin ko pero after noon wala hanggang tingin na ako ulit hanggang tingin na lang ako ulit so yun nga pinakita mo yung dating mo your first ever action figure tell share to us how do you how are you able to have it in good condition pa rin how you're able to maintain your action figures mm um, number one, you i clean them every once in a while na I take them out of their containers and and I wash them with um hinahaluan ko ng konting dishwashing liquid yung water tapos sa cloth tapos kasi merong kind of plastic na ito kasi mati, ito yung plastic na okay lang eh ito yung usually na ginagamit sa toys eh, na medyo matigas but there there's this kind na parang uh, rubbery siya like this one ito okay lang kasi nalinisan na but pag hindi mo nalinisan to it becomes shiny and really really slimy lumalagkit sila dun sa loob um, so yun I have to take them out every once in a while to breathe to let them breathe and wash them and play with them special container for that purpose or wala pa? wala pa just just a regular um, a mega box the one you see in in department stores kasi temporary storage lang naman eh pero uh, ideally um, kapag okay na lahat kapag not And when I move out, wow! When I move out, I want them. I want to contain them all in in glass shelves, para mas madali mo monitor and ma lilinisan mo na sila on the shelves mismo. So is it easily madali ba siya madumihan, madali ba siya masira because of that or? Hindi naman. Etong collectibles naman nato. They're built for collection for collecting talaga. Mm-hmm. Um, med so but tumatagal sila. Hindi nagdiscolor, hindi or anything. It's just really how you take care of them. 
Like, hindi ko naman siya mini-mint condition because I'm, I'm not planning to resell them or anything or magpataas ng value, but I just really keep them for myself. Yun yung risk lang sa akin na it's more prone to to um, be exposed to ano to outside elements na hindi nila makukuha kung nasa box lang sila because I take them out. But, yun lang, iingat lang, pero at least, eh, basta, basta ina-enjoy, ina-enjoy ko sila. <laughs> yun. Baka you can share to our viewers back who want to start collecting their own action figures. Any advice? Um, make sure it's what you want mm-hmm. if you're not going to start on anything. Not, di lang sa, sa action figures, but any collection, make sure it's what you really want and it means something to you. You mentioned a lot of toy cons. It's usually in Philippines lang naman, di ba? Yeah, Philippines lang naman. But I dream of going to the San Diego Comic Con na... This is yep. the biggest in the world, di ba talaga? Pero dito, yes, sa Philippines lang naman. Um, may mga small and big events uh, na conventions na... na so okay, toys, minsan... Schedule for our viewers. Um, usually, may mga Christmas bazaars. May mga Christmas toy cons. Um, there, are these, the, there are groups of toy collectors that, that um, do these events. Anything na makita mong event or bazaar na may kinalaman sa, sa movies sa sa cartoons or anime kahit sa mga, mga cosplay events ganun for sure meron yan mga magbebenta ng toys na na collectibles just join facebook groups and 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 um ay yun na, na, nakikita mo naman doon kung kailan yung mga toy ko na nangyayari all right thank you so much Mikoy anything you want to promote thanks Manolo um ano eh yeah. Pepito man a lot on new episodes man okay and uh, every saturday is bubble gang new fresh new episodes then um, and uh, ayun, watch Cool Hub. <laughs> All right, mga kubo. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to follow Mikoy, here's his social media. And if you want to follow me, here's my social media accounts. And for new episodes, please abangan nyo po Cool Hub every Saturday, 10.30 a.m. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you, Mikoy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Manolo. Thank you, thank you.